Well, welcome to uh, our session five. This is another critical issue, and this time the focus in the report is on the land of Israel. And the report affirms, makes it very clear that the contemporary relationship between Christians and Jews is inevitably influenced by the land. Um, the re-establishment of the state of Israel changes things in Christian-Jewish relations. It changes things in, in, in the work of CMJ. And, uh, and we, we see that as being really an important factor. Probably the only other issue which is as critical in shaping relationships is the issue of the Holocaust and uh, associated anti-Semitism. But the issue of the land, uh, the legitimacy of Israel, the, the, the theological significance of the re-establishment of a Jewish state is really at the heart of so much of Christian-Jewish relations. And in a sense, that's always been part of the CMJ position. CMJ has always had two pillars, in a sense, on which we've based our teaching and our hope and our ministry. Obviously, the, the, the first pillar goes back to critical issue, the first critical issue, the pillar of evangelism, that we've always wanted to share the gospel effectively and, and gently and, 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 and appropriately with Jewish people. So there's always been the pillar of evangelism, but there's also been a second pillar, the pillar of the restoration of the Jewish people to the land. And we will believe that restoration which has taken place in recent generations is indeed a partial fulfillment of scripture. So, you know, we are seeing this connection here. So the report, I think, is absolutely right to say that this is an issue of, of great importance. And the report goes on to discuss uh, the importance of the land from a Jewish and Christian perspective, and I think it's very helpful. There's also a reference to the Kairos document in 2009, which probably would argue strongly, the Kairos document would probably take a lot of argument uh, would, would argue strongly with the CMJ position. Um, and I think there's not really time here to go into that, but there is a reference to, to the Kairos document in the report as, as well. Um, there's also an attempt, I think, in the report to talk about the common ground between Jews, Christians and Muslims using um, the example of Abraham as the father of all three great monotheistic faiths. Now, um, I think, again, uh, this is an interesting kind of diversion in the report to bring in the Islamic narrative, because in a sense, this is a report about Christian-Jewish relations. And I understand why that is done in the report, the Anglican report, but I tend to think it's unhelpful. I, I, I think from CMJ's perspective, bilateral discussions between Christians and Jews is much more likely to be effective than trying to widen it to a multilateral discussions with Islamic input and input, of course, from other religious groups. Although, of course, I think there is some common ground, of course, between Jews, Christians and Muslims. And the Olive Press paper, which we are recommending here on Isaac and Ishmael, actually talks about the common ground between Jews and, uh, and uh, Muslims, and obviously from the Christian tradition as well. So there's a lot of discussion about the legitimacy of the land, uh, how that connects and there's obviously, obviously a very important discussion which has been taking place in Britain in the political context recently between what is the difference between anti-Semitism and a genuine criticism of the Israeli state. Uh, issues around proportionality, issues around um, uh, relationships with other states as well. So th there's a lot of interesting issues here which, which have been raised and again CMJ is, is, is happy to engage with that. Um, and there's some important questions um, on, uh, in our booklet here, uh, on page 14 and 15 of our booklet. A couple of books to recommend to you if you want to do some further work on this, particularly from a CMJ posi position. A book edited by Calvin Smith called The Jews, Modern Israel and the New Supersessionism. I think this is very helpful. And a book edited by um, a former CMJ employee, Fred Wright. He writes here, Israel, his people, his land, and his story. And uh, a number of Olive Press papers on the importance of the land. Um, Two Streams of Zionism, their contemporary relevance, is by a book by Dr. Michael Aldridge. Uh, my own Olive Press paper, looking at the relationship between Jews, Christians, and Muslims, Ishmael and Isaac, Isaac and Ishmael, 
Exploring God's Big Mission Plan. That's one of our Olive Press. Now, all the Olive Press papers you can download for free from the CMJ website. Um, one of the great um, kind of early Christian Zionists, um, Lewis Way, and this is called The Forgotten Way by Rodney Curtis. I referenced Rodney's book in the very first session earlier. Uh, a response to Stephen Sizer. Um, this is another Olive Press paper written um, by me in 2008. Now, Stephen Sizer is, is an Anglican priest and he sort of championed the kind of Palestinian cause. And this is a kind of response to him. Again, from the CMJ point of view, we're, we're not taking sides. We're not anti anybody, but we're simply trying to understand God's purposes for the land. And finally, there's a little book here Olive Press paper about pilgrimage. Again, um, one of the things which is raised in the Anglican Report is the significance of the land for understanding God. And again, from the CMJ perspective, we would really encourage people to go on a pilgrimage, to go on a study store tour of Israel. And in a sense, you know, if you're a follower of Jesus and you love to study scripture, why wouldn't you want to invest time in going to the land of Israel? Often people talk about their experience of the land as opening up their understanding. It's a bit like reading a fifth gospel. The land presents something very special about the gospel and God's purposes. And uh, finally, there's a new audit press paper, which is actually came out before, came out more recently than our response to the report. So it's only literally hot off the press. It's by Calvin Crombie, and it's called San Remo and Israel's Restoration. And this looks at the, the legal foundations for the creation of the State of Israel. And again, this is brand new. And again, you can download this from the CMJ website. Um, so please do have a look at that. In CMJ, in responding to this issue of the land, the, there is often the question, well, is CMJ Zionist? And what does Zionism mean? And we've got a special booklet here, a little leaflet rather, which goes through some of those issues. And again, I certainly found when I've gone out representing CMJ and engaging this with church leaders, issues around the land has often become the focus point. And I think this report here is, is good, it's balanced, it raises some key questions. But again, um, I hopefully our response to the Anglican document will help open up some of these issues for you. And again, if you want to invite a CMJ speaker to come and deal with any of these critical issues, um, we'll be very happy to do so to the best of our ability. So that's uh, the third of the critical issues. And uh, thank you for listening. And I hope again, as you look at the original document and you look at our response, you look at some of these resources, you can really uh, deepen and, 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 and focus your response and reflection on these important issues. Thanks for listening.